Beauty, it comes to us when we least expect it, although it is all around us. And when it's there, it usually is followed by uncertainty, excitement, confusion, and hope. And in the world, there are many places that spark these moments within our emotions, making us bigger and better people, enjoying the moments we have with one another or with the vast scenery around us. And here on FTD Facts, we are talking about one of the most beautiful countries in the entire world, and that is the country of Poland. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Wapple here, and today is pretty sweet because, you know, last couple of weeks we've been talking about, you know, places like Sweden, and I felt like today is a day where we gotta talk about Poland because it seems to be a very cool place, and I know a few people from Poland who are absolutely amazing. Now, before I get in this video, I wanna know from all you guys out there in the real world, I wanna know what do you guys cherish most? Be sure to let me know what is the most important thing to you. Put it down there so I can read it. Also, for those who have just joined us here for the first time, this is a channel where we talk about people, places, and things from all around the world, and with that, we want recommendations from you guys. And with that in mind, a lot of you guys, such as Abandis, Dad Heach, Hazez Hala, Zua, Mercy, Forgive, Jonathan, Jesus, and many more of you guys wanted us to talk about Poland, and it is a really highly requested video. So let's get talking about Poland, guys. I'm excited to learn about it. Sweden was cool, all the other countries we've talked about, but here is Poland time. Poland is the Eastern European country that sits right beside the Baltic Sea. And as of 2010, it is a country that has over 38 million people stretched out over a landscape of 312,679 square kilometers. This makes the country have 123 people per square kilometer. Now the one thing that I didn't know about Poland is that apparently if you call somebody a Polak, it's a really offensive term. I didn't really know that. I always thought it was kind of like just slang for being like, hey, you're a Polish person. But apparently it is a very derogative and negative offensive term towards Polish people. But if you want a short term for a Polish person, you either call them Polish or a Pole. Now even though some Polish people may take offense to this word, the country is made up of great people who strive for a better future. And Poland itself is a country that has a really extensive history, just like most of the countries that we do talk about. But with this history, it's got great moments and also really sad moments. For example, the people of Poland are really excited to celebrate their independence. Now this happened on November 11th, 1918 when they declared themselves their own republic from Russia. And throughout the Second World War, this day of independence was banned in 1939 because of German influence within the country. And even though the Germans got their butt kicked in World War II, their independence wasn't celebrated again until 1989 when the communist government was kicked out. Which is kind of fascinating to me because I didn't think that Poland was going to be communist after the war. And speaking of history, we'll dive more into that into a future episode. But for now, let's just talk about some really cool facts about the country itself. For example, Poland has some many interesting features about the country. Many of you may picture Poland and see it as a lowlands or plains and not very mountainous. But in fact, that's absolutely incorrect because, well, Poland down to the southern regions has a lot of mountains. These are the Carpathian and Sudet mountain ranges, and the two highest are the Tatras mountains. And the tallest of the Tatras mountains that's in Poland is the Rysi Mountain, coming in at 2,503 meters tall or 8,212 feet. It is a great place to climb and hike, except for it is closed from November 1st to June 15th, which makes sense because of the winter seasons. Now let's step away from nature for just a sec and let's talk about Polish culture. First of all, the capital of Poland is Warsaw, and out of all the cities, it is the largest city with a population of 1.8 million people. It was founded in 1200 AD, with the St. John's Our Cathedral Church in Warsaw being one of the oldest cathedrals in the city, and it is so old that it is considered a UNSCO site. And speaking of city ages, Gdansk has over 460,000 people, and it is one of, if not the oldest major city within Poland. Being found founded in 997 AD by Miaszko I of Poland, who is the ruler of the Poles in 960. And when we think of Poland, we might think of Polish beer or vodka or just having drinks in Poland for a good time. And not saying that the Poles are a bunch of drunks, but like us Canadians, over here we do enjoy a good bevy. But as for alcohol, they estimate that a Polish person drinks 92 liters of beer a year. And for their drinking laws, you have to be over 18 years old to legally purchase alcohol. But keep in mind, that's just purchase because I couldn't find anything that stated whether or not it was legal for people under the age of 
of 18 to drink alcohol. But on top of that, if you drank in the streets of Poland or the parks of Poland, it would be considered illegal. Considering we're on the topic of drinking, we might as well talk about smoking because smoking is banned in indoor restaurants, workplaces, indoor public places, and of course you have to be 18 years old to do that as well. And the one thing that smoking and drinking have in common is that they are related to the healthcare system. The healthcare system in Poland is free for everyone and is provided by the National Health Fund. However, if you want free healthcare, you have to be insured and that's usually done by an employer. Now there are also private healthcare systems where citizens have to pay full amounts, but as their constitution, it states that everyone is entitled to healthcare. And in 2013, a study found out that 61% of citizens have used private healthcare as well as 91% of pregnant women. Now let's jump back to a little more culture because one thing that's fascinating about Poland is that it has 14 UNSCO or UNESCO zones. Excluding the entire town of Warsaw, which is an entire site, the country has a range from cities to structures to churches to forests, and many of these places remind us of the great amazing story of the country. But unfortunately, one of these places has a story of darkness and regret. This is because one of the UNSCO zones within Poland is the Auschwitz concentration camp. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, I had totally forgotten that Auschwitz was in Poland. I always thought it was in Germany, but I guess I was wrong. During the Second World War, there were three major concentration camps, Auschwitz 1, 2, and 3. As well, they had 45 other satellite camps around the area. And this was Germany's final solution to the Jew question, which resulted in the extermination of millions of Jewish people. As a matter of fact, these concentration camps were pretty much a prison for 1.3 million Jews. And throughout the entire genocide of the Second World War, these particular concentration camps contributed to the deaths of 1.1 million Jewish people. And they believe that Auschwitz was responsible for killing one out of six Jews that were murdered throughout the entire Holocaust. But however, the Soviets managed to find Auschwitz and freed the people on January 7th, 1945, making it International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And you may wonder, why is this place a UNSCO zone if it's such a very dark spot in our history, one that we would probably rather forget? Well, in 1947, Poland founded the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum. And by 1979, the camp was inscribed because although there may have been terrible moments in history, it reminds us to move forward and never return to these terrible times. But today, Poland stands as a very interesting country as they contribute to peacekeeping missions, joining NATO on March 12th, of 1999. They've also joined in relief operations in Iraq and even Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. And throughout the years, Poland has been moving forward to recognize individual thought and progress. As in 1989, it held its first free elections in over 40 years, thus bringing in a non-communist government. As well as one thing that's really interesting about Poland is they have 17 Nobel Prize winners. Their first one was in 1903, which Maria Curie won for physics. And on top of that, she even won a second time in 1911 for chemistry. And out of all these 17 Nobel Prizes, four of them are for peace. One thing that's really interesting about the Polish is that they have 32 letters in their alphabet. Although the alphabet is based off of a Latin alphabet, they have multiple accents and some letters that look like English ones, but actually sound very different. For example, W sounds more like a V. Have you ever heard of KGHM? Well, probably not if you're from another country, but one thing that's interesting about this Polish company is it is a copper and silver production company that employs 34,000 people around the world, and although it is owned by 32% of the government, it ranks as 10th in the world when it comes to providing copper for the entire planet. Either way, Poland remains a cool and interesting country to visit. There may be a lot of places to go, but let's not forget their food, which they're famous for pastries and pierogies, but there's also many historical buildings and amazing places to get in touch with nature, such as the Brokaw Zoo. It is also a place that is home to over 250 castles. That's a lot. And because of these amazing places, in 2013, they had over 15 million visitors come into the country. And as of today, Poland is the 17th most visited country in the entire world. So there you have it. That is a brief look at Poland. Most likely we'll get into a part two, diving into more history and food and culture. Anyways, my name is Dave Wobble, and it has been a pleasure once again to talk about a new country. But before you guys go, I want you guys to leave a recommendation down there in the comments section for a future FTD Facts video. And speaking of 
future FTD Facts videos, you guys should head on over to ftddaily.com, sign up for our mailing list. The reason we're doing this is because at the first of every single month, we send out our production schedule. And this is all so you guys know what we're doing, and if you guys want to send us any cool photos of places that we're going to talk about, or if you have a photo of you in that country or a place that we're going to talk about, or you have just some cool facts that you want to send us and get a shout out, you can do that. So be sure to head there, all the links for everything is in the description box below. But Poland, what a beautiful country filled with beautiful people. It is a country that has a lot of history and that has been caught in the middle of some dark places in the world's past. However, the people of Poland remain strong to be the best and greatest at what they do. This is the culture and country and people of Poland who have given a lot to the world from its thoughts that have earned Nobel Prizes to its great food. But most importantly, it is a country that reminds us that beauty is always out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Before you guys head on out of here, check out our video on Sweden, another cool country we've learned about. But if you guys also want to learn more about other countries, you should check out our country playlist. Learn about some great people, cultures, and countries from all around the world. Other than that, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cool? Bye-bye.